Okay. You can just do this. Can I sit down? Okay. Hi, everybody. Oh, wow, I can hear myself really loud. So we didn't have a chance to run through this or anything, and uh, I haven't even seen the PowerPoint yet. But uh, thank you all for showing up. Um, I want to thank uh, Joe DiMaggio from um, the communications department here. He did a super job helping us promote this event. Also want to um, give special thanks to um, Joel Alexander and Bill Johnson and Mike Johnson and Keith Seppinen and the soda production students who helped produce this event. Um, also our sponsors, KCSC, the Chico News and Review, and MISA. And um, some students who did some extra work are Russell and Vince, Matt Franklin, and also thank you to Dee from the School of Communications who's here filming with Kyle, and uh, also the Tricordist and Music Tech Policy and the Copyright Alliance who've helped us with um, data for the presentation. Um, for those of you who don't know me, um, my name's Anita Rivas, and I am a music professor here. I'm a graduate of Chico State. I was here in the 80s, and I worked uh, with KCSC and uh, in the concerts program. I was the uh, concert director, and I was in the Bay Area for many years working as a concert promoter, and that's actually how I know East Bay Ray. And uh, I know David from uh, Cracker and Camper Van Beethoven, and even Lars from Metallica was you know, with us in those days. He used to come to our shows and stuff. Um, so uh, that's kind of my history, uh, except for I, I'm, I did go to UCLA Law School, and I worked with artists my whole career, and that's been about 30 years, and um, that's my story. And uh, I guess now I'm going to introduce um, our speaker. Our guest speaker is um, East Bay Ray, and uh, I've known East Bay Ray since the 80s uh, from Calix days, because I also was the promotions director there for two years. And one of the first things I did was write a piece on uh, censorship and the First Amendment, and it had to do with the Dead Kennedys uh, record cover, which was the Frankenchrist cover. I don't know if you guys remember that. It was really famous. The PMRC was, you know, up in arms in uh, Tipper Gore. Tipper Gore. Do you remember those days? Well, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> and uh, and the Dead Kennedys were really controversial and uh, you know stirred up trouble all the time. And uh, here we are again today and talking about the First Amendment once again in a different context. And um, East Bay Ray, I don't know, probably you guys didn't get to see the press release, but he has amazing credits. You know, he ran his own label, he started it, and uh, it was called Alternative Tentacles. It was a really well-known indie label in the Bay Area. He's also a graduate from UC Berkeley in uh, mathematics, and uh, he's become a really outspoken artist advocate, working closely with uh, David Lowry from Camper Van Beethoven uh, to try to get the word out about how artists are being oppressed by big tech. So. Um, um, I guess we're going to go on to the presentation now after all those uh, thank yous. Um, what do we go to next? I guess we could go to this right here that we have. Um, um, this is a quote from East Bay Ray right here. It's not a revolution when independent artists' livelihood is sucked away by businessmen. So what does that mean? How, what, did you want to say a few words about that? Well, yeah. Um, I guess one of the disconnects I'm finding with fans is that music and also like films, videos, books are still making money and actually making billions of dollars of money. But what it's happening is, is that it's going, it's, it's going to the, these uh, tech companies, the new middlemen, they're doing it through advertising. Like the basic thing is you, you know, put up some, like there's a site in Russia that puts up dead, that gives away dead Kennedy stuff for free. And then um, it has advertising on the side, and, and like one of the big, there's like U Yahoo has a big advertising firm, and Google has AdSense, and they actually place ads on illegal sites. And then so the uh, and the I don't we have a picture. I don't know if it's next, but <laughs> this is kind of like uh, this is the first time I've done this, and Anita's. Uh, we're kind of, we didn't get the time to get together and rehearse, so uh, <laughs> we're gonna. There's gonna be an ad lib jam session. There's gonna be some ups and some downs, but anyway. Uh, so there's this site in Russia. It's in the top 20 sites for take down notices uh, uh, for illegal. You know, just giving. They're giving away music for free, uh, and they charge uh, a, a ad, an ad agency like Google AdSense or the Yahoo one will come in and charge Alaska Airlines 1-800 flowers you know, tens of thousands of dollars to place their ads up on the side. And so the, the ad agency makes money, uh, and the Russian people make money, but the people that made the music, nothing. 
and and that's how kind of it's in that's how like that the kind of illegal thing and and they make they make billions i mean um kim.com is he has 175 million dollars you know it's a lot more than i have <laughs> and and he's basically you know just done it by using other people's work and labor to make this money so in the the i guess that's the uh I think we have a slide of it somewhere, but those yeah, are the well, statistics. Yeah, we, we don't have our, our slides. Can you go in. back to the other one? The, that one. That, those are important things for you guys to know right there. Uh, this was the intro of our, our original program. Okay, yeah. Program. Well, yeah, basically, like Google's YouTube is projected to make 1.2 billion profit this year. That's just profit. And Google, the whole company, is supposed to make 34 billion profit. And I think, I don't know the exact number, somewhere between, you know, 85 to 95 percent is from advertising. It's all advertising driven. So the money's there. And then uh, Bureau of Labor Statistics, there's 45 percent less independent musicians. And what they, they do, they do a survey and they look who's filing taxes. And basically, if the internet is going to be so wonderful for independent artists, you know, I thought it was. I was sold that 10 years ago, like, you know, because I, I, my band's never been on a major record label. And, uh, but I have 45%, it's because, you know, the, the income's like gone down to a quarter. So if somebody making $40,000 used to be like a, a, a street musician, now they're making 10,000 and they're out of work. And meanwhile, Google's got 1.2 billion in profit, which um, if they'd split that profit like 600 million, it would be it would be it'd be about twelve thousand independent artists, video makers, and musicians. So these are all the money or the people who are making money off of the dead Kennedys right here. Like yeah, you don't this, this is a, any of this. this is a screenshot. This is a illegal site in Russia, and there's Alaska Airlines and I guess where that, I guess it's down below. There's a one eight hundred flowers one. Where is it? Oh, there deal of the week. And the other the other the other part that the internet doesn't want you to know is that like Alaska Airlines and what a hidden flowers they have no idea their ads are on you know illegal sites these are these sites are actually uh, registered to the Russian mafia and and the, the one of the one of the, what is it hot file is actually registered in Panama and the same guy there's also an arms merchant registered to the same people in Panama and they're famous for selling AK-47s to the Mideast you know, it's so it's kind of you know you can go what that who is on hot file and you get all these Russian names in Panama. Yeah, there's it's, some it's, creepy and this, stuff. And, and, and this is the thing, like David Lowry found a BMW ad on on a stuff giving away cracker, and he wrote BMW. They had no idea. So these internet advertising guys are like taking it. You know, they're uh, not they're they're kind of lying to the big corporations and then lying to the independent artists. Yeah, something else, um, Google, they just were fined $22 million um, because they were taking people's information without their approval, like without your knowledge, all the consumers, all the, you know, people out there, they take your data, they sell it, they make money off of it, and they um, get your eyeballs because you're going there for music and content. So they're ripping off everybody and they're pocketing all the money. And they do things also like in the, the sex trade, um, those illegal operations, they uh, still are doing advertising with those people. And they only recently stopped working with the uh, um, illegal pharmaceuticals after lots of pressure. So um, they right, do some yeah. pretty corrupt things. It's just big corporations. So I mean, I, I did an editorial for the News and Review, and, and I analogized it to Monsanto and um, Wall Street and um, just you know, the whole banking industry and Goldman Sachs. Like, that's kind of what we're dealing with with big tech. And uh, we're going to go into that next on who is big tech.